Hey guys, Wayne Stevenson here. In this video, I want to share with you this new drone I bought. A Darwin FPV 3 inch 4S BL Heli 32 bit drone. Haven't, uh, haven't even opened it up yet, so I guess this will be like an um, unboxing as well. Um, before I got this one, um, the only other kind of... Um, pre-packaged drones I've bought. I have Mobula 7 and this Tyro 7.9 right here. Now, these aren't stock props. I got some uh, Nazgul 3061s on here. Love these props by the way. Uh, iFlight Nazgul 3061s. Uh, my favorite props are Nazguls. Um, anyhow, this is a bang. This is the Isheen or Esheen, Esheen, uh Tyro 79. Uh, it's called Tyro 79 because it's 79 US dollars um, about 100 bucks Canadian um, the reason I love this Tyro uh, is for 100 bucks you can't really um, you're not gonna find a cheaper 3 inch FPV drone that's got your VTX, it's got your uh, camera, it's got your ESC's, motors, everything all in inclusive um, the only thing it doesn't have is your receiver and battery not a problem. Uh, you'd be hard pressed piecing out a kit like this if you want to customize it. Uh, I love this drone. I've bashed this off of concrete, railroad ties, um, rocks, dumpsters. Um, it's taken a beating. I've hit power lines multiple times. Don't ask me how something this small seems to find power lines. At, at any rate, Loved what I got for the price. Uh, I've had this few years now. I still fly it. Um, knocked off a uh, receiver on it, um, so I gotta gotta replace that before I uh, put it in the air. At any rate, uh, this one they're calling the Darwin 79 on their AliExpress page, and I'm like, wow, that is excellent. So obviously they're going up against Ishin. Good luck with that. They're a big company. Um, but, I mean, the specs, hold on, before we before we go any further, uh, the specs. This has got BL Heli 32 on it. It's got a 30 amp ESC. Um, I believe the Tyro's got probably a 15 or 20, definitely not a 30. And it's a Heli S, not 32, if that makes a big difference for you. Uh, both got the F4. Um, STM32 uh, processor on board. Um, this one's just got a cheap camera. This one, the Darwin FPV, has got a Cadex camera on that one. Uh, 2400 KV motors. Let's open it up. Let's, let's do the official unboxing. Here you go. There's, uh, there's their website right there. 4F building C2 info at darwinfpv.com. Um, Nice packaging. Mm. And I'll just foam. Boom. Oh, man. And this is already assembled. Already assembled for you. Um, that's slick. Solder job's nice. Ish. Could have done better. Um, this is nice. Nice build. Got their own brand of motors on there. Nice and tight. Looks like. Let's take a look here. Okay, right, one thing I don't like is got a counterclockwise and clockwise um, motors. I totally dislike that. Dislike that 100%. Um, for the main reason that uh, if I ever lose a nut. Where are you gonna find? Where are you gonna find a counterclockwise nut? Uh, but this is nice. It's got a nice stack in here. Got the VTX. Got your camera. Uh, compared to the Tyro, what I hated about the Tyro was that um, it was so close enclosed. Um, I had a hard time putting the receiver on there. I couldn't fit one right inside. So I had to put it zip tie it to the outside of there, 
and that's where it got sheared off in one of my uh, <coughs> landings. So I love this one. Um, nice long power lead. Um, lots of room on here. I can put a I guess so many options to uh, to put your um, receiver on there. Love it. That's why I uh, why I got this too is the size. I mean, it was your standard kind of um, configuration there. Um, nice blue colors. Your blue uh, knurled standoffs here. Looks like a 3D printed uh, antenna holder and camera mount. I like that. Don't want to flex that too much. Perfect. That's your Cadex. Turbo EOS V or EOS EOS V2. Very cool. I'm looking forward to flying that. Let's see what else it comes with. Comes with a single strap. Oh, nice blue props, probably 30, 45. What do we got here? Yeah, 3045 props, single set. Be nice if you had some extras. Props don't last long. Similar material that has the, uh, the Nazgul's. Nice. Looks like we got some zip ties to put our receiver on. And it looks like a few options for probably attaching receiver. So you got some uh, empty JST wires, empty connectors, spare screws. Um, kind of thinking I'm going to, oh, look at that. We got bumpers for the. Uh, skids on the bottom very cool looks like the, um, the arms aren't single piece these are single piece arms on here so you break that you're screwed um, let's go to their website see if uh, I'm gonna check real quick see if you can what was their website r1fpv.com let's check it out hang on a second Okay, um, okay, so under construction, let's go to their AliExpress page. All right, here we are. This is it right here? The uh, Darwin FPV, under four bucks Canadian, pretty slick. Nice, it's money well spent, I think. I mean, I haven't flown it, but. It's Really, four motors, ESC. I throw a transmitter, a receiver on there, and it's flying. Our 40 mil wheelbase, three mil arms, mil and a half uh, body, 3K carbon fiber, 2400 KV 4S motors. Thirty amp ESC, thirty-five amp peak for ten seconds. BL Heli thirty-two D shot twelve hundred. Pretty sweet. It's my first uh, BL Heli thirty-two. One well, looking forward to that. Two hundred milliwatt forty channel transmitter VTX. Beautiful pictures. Beautiful. There we have it, third inch, three megapixel. Yeah, again, not a fan of having the uh, counterclockwise motors. They were cool back in the day, but I don't like them now. Anyhow, very cool. Um, product. View all products. Let's see if 
Okay, so I don't see, uh, no, there's no page two. Don't see any replacement products. Oh, let's check this out. It's their F411 all-in-one. I actually bought one of those right there. Boom. Let's check it out. Oh, this quality control sticker. Oh, speaking of stickers, it's our own FPV sticker. Add that to my collection. I haven't used any. There it is. Boom. Beautiful. Let's check it. Check it out. New. Uh, Don't need the garbage. Heat shrink, you got your power leads, some screws, got some uh, connectors in case you want to solder those on. Very cool. I'm gonna enjoy this. I love how they've already got the capacitor already powered in or soldered on very cool I'm gonna throw some uh, maybe build with some Emacs on that because that will be powerful enough anyhow sorry I digress let's get back to this uh, get back to my new little baby here I'm going to bash this in the snow. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, nice tight build. It's pretty cool. Came assembled. Didn't have to do anything. All, all you have to do is put a receiver on there. And uh, like I said, it's got, uh, got a little connector there. Comes with a bunch of connectors so you can configure... Uh, whatever receiver you're going to use, you can figure that yourself. So, there you have it. That's Darwin FPV. Just wanted to share that with you. I was a little impressed by the price. Like the uh, like the Tyro, Tiro, Tyro 79. Um, you're going to have a hard time. If you wanted to piece together a custom build, um, you know, props and all, you are going to have a hard time getting uh, a 401 ESC. You're going to have a hard time uh, getting your frame, your motors, wires, everything you need. You're going to have a hard time piecing together uh, a drone for, for $79 or under. Um, so, and you don't find even, you don't find. Uh, and this isn't even a ready to fly. This was I had to put together everything, solder everything. This one's ready to go. I throw my transmitter on or receiver on, and away I go. Um, can't beat the price. I don't know if they're going to keep um, that price um, forever. If they are, that's great because uh, that's an amazing price. At any rate, check them out. Um, before we move on I don't think it came with any instructions um, let's just take a look there was none with the all-in-one it's fine in fact my flight controller box Nice stuff here. I got lots of building I gotta do. Yeah, so it doesn't come with any instructions. But, well, I guess most of it is probably catered to beginners, so having instructions would probably be a good thing. So, 
I think they're just trying to break through into the North American market. Um, that's where I heard about them. It was in uh, Facebook. Was it Facebook? It's either Facebook or Reddit. I think it was Facebook. Um, in one of the FPV groups. They were hawking their stuff on you know, their AliExpress link. And I'm like, who are these guys? Uh, checked them out because the price was good when he said the price before him 79 bucks that's pretty slick i'm in well i said give me more information like well i check the specs out hell yeah let's do it sign me up take my money um it's because i wanted to try it out i wanted to see what uh see what the competition was these guys are out in facebook land marketing their drones i've never heard of darwin fpv they got escs all-in-ones motors their own quads so um they're doing something right so i thought i'd give them a try um i don't think you need to see a flight on this one and it's a quadcopter what's it gonna do it's a drone it's gonna fly it's got the same f4 uh capability as this and hundred other flight controllers ESCs um, but I will I will get back to you if I have any problems with it I'll let you know you know thanks for watching guys take care